Hi guys, as I mentioned earlier today, we are going to learn about the characteristic of planets. Now as we begin, we have to answer this question first. What is a planet? Okay, the simple answer, a planet is a celestial body that is in orbit around the sun. But actually, the most recent definition of a planet was adopted by the International Astronomical Union in 2006. It says a planet must do three things. First, it must orbit a star in our cosmic neighborhood, the Sun. The second, it must be big enough to have enough gravity to force it into a spherical shape. The third, it must be big enough that is its gravity clear away any objects of similar size near its orbit around the sun. The planets are divided into two categories based on their composition, terrestrial and Jovian. Terrestrial planets including Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are primarily made of rocky material, their surfaces are solid, they don't have a ring system, they have a very few or no moons, and they are relatively small. The Jovian planets include gas giants Jupiter and Saturn, and ice giants Uranus and Neptune. The gas giants are predominantly made of helium and hydrogen, and the ice giants also contain rock, ice, and a liquid mixture of water, methane, and ammonia. All four Jovian planets have multiple moons, support green system, have no solid surface, and are immense. Okay, let's talk about the eight planets in our solar system. The first planet is Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system and the closest to the sun. There are no rings around Mercury. Mercury has no moons. Mercury has a very thin atmosphere, so daytime temperatures can reach 430 degrees Celsius and drop to minus 180 degrees Celsius at night. It is the closest planet to the Sun at a distance of about 58 million kilometers. Mercury is composed of 70% metal and 30% silicate. Mercury makes a complete orbit around the Sun in just 88 Earth days. The second planet is the Venus, the hottest planet in our solar system. It has a high percentage of carbon dioxide in its atmosphere which traps heat. Venus is the brightness of all planets in the night sky, and also called the morning and evening star as it appears in the eastern sky before the sunrise and in the western sky after sunset. The planet's surface temperature is above 465 degrees Celsius. Venus is the second closest planet to the Sun at a distance of about 108 million kilometers. One day on Venus lasts 243 Earth days because Venus spins backward, with its Sun rising in the west and set in the east. Venus has no moons and no rings. Venus is called Earth's twin. The reason for that is they are very similar size and they are made of similar rocks. The third planet is Earth. Only planet in our solar system that has a water in liquid form and oxygen, so it means supports life. Earth makes a complete orbit around the sun in about 365 days. A day on Earth is 24 hours. Earth is the third closest planet to the sun at a distance of about 150 million kilometers. Earth has no rings, but it has one moon. The moon orbits the Earth like the Earth orbits the sun. Earth's atmosphere is 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% other ingredients. The next planet is Mars. Mars is known as the red planet because iron mineral in the Martian soil oxidizes or rust causing the soil and atmosphere to look red. Mars makes a complete orbit around the sun in 687 Earth days. 
one day on Mars takes a little over 24 hours. Mars is four planets to the Sun at a distance of about 228 million kilometers. Mars has no rings, but it has two moons named Phobos and Deimos. Okay guys, guess what? What's next? Yeah, correct. Jupiter. The fifth planet is Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. Jupiter is the fifth planet to the Sun at a distance of about 778 million kilometers. Jupiter rotates once about every 10 hours but takes about 12 Earth years to complete one orbit of the Sun. Jupiter has more than 75 moons. In 1979, the Voyager mission discovered Jupiter's faint ring system. All four giant planets in our solar system have ring system. Jupiter's atmosphere is made of mostly of hydrogen and helium. Okay, now the yellowish planet. Yeah, Saturn. The second largest planet in our solar system. Saturn has the most spectacular ring system with seven rings and several gaps and divisions between them. Saturn is the sixth planet to the Sun at a distance of about 1.4 billion kilometers. Saturn rotates once about every 10.7 hours but takes about 29 Earth years to complete one orbit of the Sun. Saturn has the 82 moons. Saturn's atmosphere is made of mostly of hydrogen and helium. Okay guys, the seventh planet is Uranus. The name like hero in Mobile Legends, right? <laughs> okay, Uranus is about four times wider than Earth, the third largest planet in our solar system. Uranus is very cold gaseous planet. Uranus is the seventh planet to the Sun at a distance of about 2.9 billion kilometers. Uranus rotates once about every 17 hours but takes about 84 Earth years to complete one orbit of the Sun. Uranus has 27 moons and it has 13 known rings. The inner rings are narrow and dark and the outer rings are brightly colored. Uranus has an atmosphere made mostly of molecular hydrogen and atomic helium with a small amount of methane. Okay, this is the last planet in our solar system, is Neptune, the fourth largest planet in our solar system. Neptune is very cold gases planet. Its distance to the sun is about 4.5 billion kilometers. Neptune rotates once about every 16 hours but takes about 165 years to complete one orbit of the sun. Neptune has 14 known moons. Neptune's atmosphere is made of mostly of molecular hydrogen, atomic helium, and methane. Okay guys, thank you for your attention. God bless you.